What is up people? Welcome to what will probably be my first video on this channel. Today I want to show you how to get macOS Tahoe 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 26 virtual machine on any MacBook. Um, the reason why I'm posting this is because I was looking for tutorials myself and couldn't find any so I just worked around until I figured out how to do it myself. Um, I am on an M3 Pro, MacBook Pro, but I'm sure this will work on any computer. Uh, as you can see, I have the virtual machine right here, the new app library, and all the new icons. I have it in a clear clear mode right now. I put some widgets up, uh, but let me show you how to do this. So. Let me shut this machine down really quick and let's get started. So first thing you're going to want is to have UTM installed. Um, if you don't have it installed already, just search for it. Don't install it through the app store because it will cost money, but install it on the website and you just want to install it. It's an easy uh, virtual machine program for Mac users. I used to use VirtualBox when I had a Windows machine and I use VMware because I also have a Windows 11 VM but I don't use that on UTM just because that's just the way I had it. I did that a long time ago. But to get started you're just gonna want to create a virtual machine and then you're gonna want to click virtualize macOS and then it's gonna ask you for IPSW but uh, just click continue and it will automatically install one and you can feel free to change the hardware to whatever you want. Um, I think I'm going to put 8 gigabytes just because I want it to run more smooth. Um, and I'll leave it at 64 since I'm only using it to test out the beta. I'm not using it for anything else. You may be able to push it down to 40 gigs too. I think that might be work too. But I would recommend just sticking at 64 unless you want to add more. Um, and then just go through the entire thing name it what you want I'm gonna name it macOS beta and then just click continue and it will automatically install the macOS Sequoia version which is what we will be using first because then once we install the macOS Sequoia virtual machine then you can just easily download the developer beta in settings and get macOS 26 Tahoe installed on the virtual machine. I couldn't find a way to do it uh, where you just straight install macOS 26, which is why I had to go through Sequoia first. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty quick. Like you saw it jump to four minutes. Uh, I'd say this whole process took around 30 minutes for me last time, but I'll get back to you once this is done installing. Okay guys, so now I have the beta fully downloaded and installed. Um, again, I didn't really have to do anything to get it, but now I'm just going to start it. Uh, click OK, and it's going to start installing the operating system from what it downloaded. This took me last time, like honestly, 10 minutes. It wasn't that long, so I'll show you the first part, and then once it, once it starts installing or the progress goes up, this is what the installation is going to look like. It's not going to show you any Apple logo or anything. It's just going to load. And then you'll see right here where it says installation. See, it's already going up 17, 18 percent, 19. Like, it just keeps going up. Um, but I'll come back when this is done and show you what to do next. Okay, guys, I literally think that took me less than 10 minutes to install, but you're still not going to go through the setup process, sign in with your Apple ID because you will need that um, to download the beta and just continue with it. If you have a developer account, sign in with that. If not, you'll just like sign in on the Apple website and create a de developer account. Um, it's not that hard and it's all free. So I'm just going to go through this. Get back with you after.
Okay guys, so once your Mac is set up, you're on macOS Sequoia, there's only a couple more steps left to get to macOS Tahoe. So first what you're going to do is search up for Apple Developer Program. I'm sure lots of you have heard about this before. And you just um, want to go to Enroll, start your enrollment, log in with your Apple ID, and then you should be set to go you don't have to do anything more in Safari I'm not gonna log in because I've already set this up but all you need to do is log in and then you go to your settings software update and go to beta updates and then you're gonna want to select Mac OS Tahoe 26 developer beta and give it a second there it is uh, just go ahead and upgrade now it's gonna take some time and it might like give you an error like it might install and then it show it will show like these two buttons again and you'll click upgrade now and it will say like error but then I mean that's the that's the problem I had but then it just restarted on its own and updated the Mac to Mac OS Tahoe so that should be it. I'm not going to do the upgrade because I feel like that's not needed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was a good tutorial. Thanks. And thanks for watching my first YouTube video. Peace. <laughs>